Cameron Booth from the Children's Museum of Richmond, and today we are going to be learning about one of my favorite subjects, dinosaurs. Now, an exciting exhibit that we have at our downtown location is our dinosaur dig bit. This gives children the opportunity to be paleontologists. And a paleontologist is a scientist that studies dinosaurs and their fossils. Now, today I want you to put on your best paleontologist cap because we are going to be learning about these dinosaurs. Now, dinosaurs lived 65 million years ago. They stomped and walked around all around the world. And I have an excavation site here for me to maybe uncover some fossils. Fossils are petrified remains of bones, eggs, and footprints. And paleontologists use paintbrushes to brush the soil of the earth around to possibly uncover a dinosaur fossil. Now, I have just uncovered a fossil right here in my little excavation site. This looks like it's a fossil of a footprint from a dinosaur. Maybe when a dinosaur was walking around the earth many years ago, it left behind its footprint. Maybe it was a footprint of this stegosaurus here, which was an herbivore. Herbivores had flat teeth in their mouth. This is a fossil of an herbivore's tooth. Let's see what else I could find. Ooh, this one's a tiny fossil. Not all fossils are big. This looks like it might be a tooth from a meat-eating dinosaur like this Tyrannosaurus rex. He had sharp teeth to chomp into other dinosaurs, maybe like that Stegosaurus there. Now, the bones that you see in my excavation site aren't real dinosaur fossils, but I made them at home, and I'm gonna give you the recipe to make your own dinosaur fossils. So I'm gonna put my excavation site to the side, and I'm gonna show you how to make these salt dough fossils. You're gonna need three simple ingredients for these fossils today. You're going to need two cups of flour. You're going to need one cup of salt, because that's what makes salt dough, salt dough. And you will need one cup of water, preferably warm. And then you are going to also need a big bowl and a giant spoon to mix these around. Combine your flour, remember two cups, your one cup of salt, and your one cup of water. All into your big bowl and give it a nice mix. Let me put these to the side so I have some more room. Once you mix this up really well, you are going to get a mixture that looks somewhat like this. This is your salt dough. It feels like Play-Doh. You'll be able to bend it into whatever shape you would like. And we are gonna I'm gonna show you how to make these dinosaur fossils out of this amazing salt dough. So I'm going to take a small baking sheet that I have right here. Because we're gonna need to bake our fossils so they get really hard. I'm gonna take our salt down and start to arrange it, maybe looking like a part of a dinosaur. I'm gonna make one of their bones. You can make whatever type of fossil you would like. Maybe this is the little arm bone of a T-Rex. And you can smooth out your salt dough with your fingers. <coughs> so there's one of my bones. And I'm also gonna make a really sharp fingernail from a T-Rex. T-Rexes are one of my favorite dinosaurs. So we'll make something sharp. Also add the part that it's attached into its mouth with. Gums, there we go. Ooh, that looks like a great T-Rex. There we go. So once you have your fossils shaped and created on your baking sheet, 
ask an adult to put these in the oven for, on 200 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. It takes a long time, but you want your bones to be hard and strong so they don't break. If they do break, don't worry. One of the paleontologist's jobs is taking broken bones and slowly piecing them back together to figure out what the dinosaur once looked like. Once your salt dough fossils are all baked in your oven, you can take them out carefully with an adult and you can pick them up. As you can see, they're very hard. This was that tooth of the T-Rex. And look at this bone right here. It's really amazing. Now, is what you could do with these at home is you could go outside and bury them in your yard and pretend to be that paleontologist that is excavating those dinosaur bones deep from the Earth's crust, or you could hide them around your house. I really love the way that they look after they've been in the ground a little bit. Once they get a little bit of dirt rubbed on them, they look like they've become old, like they've been under the ground for 65 million years. And if you have paintbrushes at home, you could brush all of that dirt off of them. This activity is really simple and special for you to create at home. But we'll also have the salt dough available to our guests in the museum once you reopen to the public. Thank you for joining me today. Again, these are salt dough dinosaur bones. You can find the recipe right in this blog post. If you have any other questions, feel free to email the Children's Museum of Richmond. We hope to see your smiling faces soon. Bye.